hi all so this is guys this is my fourth video in this video i'll be going to tell you how to use a sql query using workbench okay so i first of all i log into my salesforce org this is the first thing that we have to do so i'm logged into my salesforce account and uh, how you have to connect with workbench as i've told you in my la last videos as well you have to go to this url workbench.developerforce.com and uh, you have to keep it as a production environment because if you are logged into your dev basically your you know uh, the dev org which is your local org and which is not your enterprise edition right so you have to select this as a production org only if you are logged in basically to a enterprise edition or uh, then and you have a sandbox account sandboxes then you can select sandbox and click on the agree on terms of service and you can click on this login with salesforce so once you will do this you will end up to this particular place please please so what you have to do now you will see this option of so I'll tell you like uh, in this video how you can do query and simply how you can do a SQL query. So if you see here, this is the object and you can select on which object you basically want to perform a query. So what I'll do, I'll select account object. So if you see, I have an option of first option, which is a count. So if you, if I'll click on count, it will give me all the records which are present on the account object. So we, we have 12 records on account object now let's say i want to select few fields as well so i will uh, select few fields account number account source account details active so just for an example i'm just taking these four fields so if you see if i will do the query now it will give me the data present in all these fields for these 12 accounts though we don't have data for these two columns you can ignore that for now Okay, so uh, I have this data and uh, what I have wanted to do is I don't want to get basically uh, the account records which does not have any value for active, right? So what, so where active basically is null. So what we have to do is, so if you don't know how to write a SQL query, Workbench provides this ability to, you know, frame a query for you. So what we will do, we have to use filter results by and what we can do is we have to use active and then we don't want the records where it is null. So if you do this, if you see uh, the this is all automatically got added in the where clause and if you do the query, now you can see there are 10 records and you have got all those 10 records where active is not equal to null so we have 10 records all right now as an example let's say i'm selecting one more field so what you have to do you have to just keep on pressing like you just need to you know press the control button so that these four fields remains there and what more we want to add on top of it we want to add the industry as well so if you do a query we will get the industry also for these accounts so if you see here we have now industry so what you want to do basically in this data you want to sort the data on the basis of industry and what we want to get first the biotechnology record and then followed by all the records which started with c and then so on right so uh, we have to do basically sort here so if you see sort results by we have to use industry and you have an option of a to z or z to a will use a to z and then if you see here this automatically got added in a query order by industry asc nulls first so this is what we have to use and once you do a query you can see here you have biotechnology construction so it just it got sorted on the basis of your industry now we have an option of exclude and include so what does it mean exclude means uh, you don't want to include the records which are present in your recycle bin so basically uh, you just want to query all the undeleted records and if you want to include deleted records also in your query then you have to use include and you can do a query so if you have any record in the recycle bin for the account object 
it will give you that record as well in your query okay so this is what we is provided by workbench so what now if you want to export this data if you want to export this data in a csv format we can use an option of bulk csv so if you will select on bulk csv and if you will click on query it will give you this it will run the job and it will give you an extract so if you see this option download completed batch result if you will click here and uh, this is a csv file got downloaded and if you will open this so if you see here all the records which we have sorted also it got automatically we got that in a csv file right so this is what we can do using workbench thank you guys thanks for watching my video and uh, do let me know if you want to know anything specific to sql query and uh, and other uses of workbench if you want to know please let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and like if you if you really like this video thank you thanks all